In today's video, I'm going to show you a little hack of making a time warp for your animations in Blender. I'm Luciano, and welcome to the Adventures of Lollipop Man. This episode is sponsored by me. Use the code below to get 10% discount on any of my products. What's up everyone? I'm Luciano and welcome to the Adventures of Lollipop Man. Today we're going to make a little hack based on a tip that was given to me by my friend now Lito, you can find his beautiful Twitter here. As you can see, he does like the most beautiful and cute characters in the world. I think the world one is kind of inspired in me. In any case, check out his Instagram. He does amazing stuff. He's creating beautiful animations in Blender and he only started in Blender like three years ago. In any case, he showed me this little trick because this guy that knows no limits, he comes up sometimes with really interesting hacks. And so I want to explain this one to you because I think it might be really... So before we get into the tip, remember to like and subscribe, obviously, because you know that helps the channel. And it's also free. So, right, now that you've done that, let's get into the nitty gritty. We got this guy right here. You've seen this animation already in some other previous video. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new panel here where I'm just going to have animation stuff and I'm going to open up the nonlinear animation editor. As you recall, we can press this little button to con convert the animation into a clip. And so the thing is that with this clip, I can move it around and I can do several things, like add a modifier, we talked about this earlier. And right now, what I want to do is we're going to select the clip, go into the strips, and then open up the action clip. And this is quite fun because you can see here that we have like this repeat function, which will loop your clip several times. And we have this also thing called playback scale. And so if I scale this to 0.5, for instance, you're gonna see that now, it's, it goes much faster. Obviously we ran out of clip. And so now I can, for instance, repeat it. So if I select it and I make it 10, then I get 10 cycles and then I can make it much, much, much faster. Like let's say something like so. And you can see that he runs so fast, my computer can't even handle it. There we go. So we're doing like the effect from the series flash, right? And something like that. And so here's the interesting thing. Where is the time warp? Because none of these properties are animatable, right? You can't add a keyframe there, right? Um, then, then you cannot control the speed, or can you? So I'm gonna go back to one and I'm going to select just any random object or it could be part of the rig itself, like this control here. And I'm going to create, actually, I, I'm going to just do it in the, in the object properties. You see that there's this thing called custom properties. I'm going to create a new custom property. I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to make sure that we have something more to play with here. You can see that we have a property with, with this panel, we can create easy properties. And so I'm going to name this speed and I'm going to change this property value. This is the default property value. And then, sorry, this is the value that we'll, we'll have right now. The default is whatever you reset it to, and then you get a minimum maximum. So let's do a maximum of 10 and a minimum of zero. That's all right. And that should be good. So if I press okay, I, can, I have this little attribute that I can move around. Now, where's the interesting thing here? As we saw before, you cannot animate the playback scale, which controls how fast and how slow it goes. What we can do is you can copy this value as a new driver and paste it in the playback scale, paste driver. So now this value drives that one and you say well that's that's yeah that's kind of dumb but all right but this one you can animate if i press i i get a keyframe and so for instance i'm gonna put number one there and press i and then over here for instance i'm gonna make it fast 
So in my animation, I want 1.5, uh, for instance. I. So now we will see that it will go speeding up and we get a time warp. Now you can see also here that sometimes we get an update on what's going on and sometimes we don't. And so because this is a hack, it's not super easy to predict how to make it work correctly. Also that sometimes it doesn't even refresh. But what do we know about this? We know that number one is regular speed. And as long as we stay in number one, we're going to be at the, uh, at the speed that you created the animation. Uh, if we go down to 0.9, right? The more down we go, the higher the speed goes because it con contracts the scale of the playback. As you can see, we can easily go from a, a normal speed down to like super fast. If we move this value down, if we move it up, it's going to become slow. So for instance, if I go here to number two, to two instead, it just like slows down my animation, right? And obviously there's uh, in the graph editor, if you go here to graph editor, we get a little curve. And also you can see that it's speeding up and speeding down with easing. You can change how this will behave. Either it's if, it, that, if that speed up or down will be constant or not, or you can do stuff like this. For instance, I'm gonna just put this back down. And so now it's constant speed of one, which is the regular speed, but I could make something like this where he could accelerate, sorry, he could decelerate and then go back to regular speed or backwards, right? And so, as I said before, it's not a hundred percent perfect, but the thing is once you get what you want, like it's, it's not like he's running faster. It's like the effect of the flash, like it's a fake running faster, but it will get you partly where you want to go. Right. And now that we've done this, you can always go to a pre go bake action and say, I just want all it, all of it, all the animation. I want to do, that's it. Okay. We'll bake it. Oh, well, I baked it on once. You could have baked it on twos or something like that. Right. And then you can just turn off this or just get rid of it. And then you get your animation back into your keyframes, um, as usually, right. So yeah, I hope this tip helps you with those animations. Again, it's not a perfect thing, but it it's workable if you need to do something like this. So yeah, I hope this, I hope you like this video. Shout out to Naolito again for this great tip. And yeah, and remember to like and subscribe and see me next time.